Hello and welcome to Dead Parrot. We're here at Spank at the Edinburgh Festival with Bourgeois and Maurice. Hi. Who's Hi. who? Who's who? This is Maurice. I'm Georgeois Bourgeois. Ah. I'm Maurice Maurice. Got it. Got it wrong. Got it wrong. This is a cracking outfit. Thanks very much. You know, I thought it was a Tuesday night. It's the Edinburgh Fringe. Make a bit of an effort, you know? Exactly. Thanks. Yeah. I decided to dress down. I thought, why bother? Yeah. Why bother? Oh, you're kind of dowdy. Yeah, it's dowdy. <laughs> Hi, sugar tits. How are you doing? Hey there, Speck. How are you doing? We're Bourgeois and Maurice. I'm Georgeois Bourgeois. This is my beautiful sister, Maurice Maurice on piano. Give her a round of applause, why don't you? Thanks so much, thanks so much. You're a very attractive audience, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. You're very attractive. Congratulations on the old bone structures this evening. It's, uh, it's nice because we don't really do shows to... Um, ugly people. <laughs> and I, I hate having to say that, I really do, I feel very rude, but it's very difficult to concentrate on all the, uh, the lyrics and the dance moves when we're faced with a sea of munters. So, <laughs> thank you so much for making the effort this evening on that respect. Thanks very much. <laughs> so, is this tailor-made? Um, no, this is H&M. Um, H&M &M is kinky, ma'am. Yeah, I know. It's, um... it's a little bit customised. You did do some changes. Yeah. You made a mouth hole. There wasn't a mouth hole originally. No, Sorry. I think H and M they kind of go for the more like kind of intense S and M kind of thing. But we were like, no, come on, we want to make this more accessible for the general public. Do you know what? I just can't stop looking at your gorgeous eyelashes because I'm I'm guessing I'm guessing are they real? I thought they <laughs> I thought genetic. they might be fake. You see, because I tried to put fake eyelashes on once, like glued my eye together. Right. I think oh, you guys yeah. would be yeah, able to difficult. give me. Yeah. Have you seen um, the only way is Essex? I have. Yeah, and you know that they're quite like they're kind of big on the lash look. They are very big on the lash look. So I just thought I'd take it to its logical conclusion. <laughs> Brilliant. We thought we'd just come right out here tonight and talk to you about uh, sex, if that's all right with you guys. I seem you're familiar with it. Yeah, okay, we're going to go whoop over here. And Maurice was telling me about a fantasy that she has, and uh, it's kind of a, it's atypical. I don't know if anyone else in the room is going to share it, but Maurice, I feel like. Do you want to get up here and tell the people in the room about okay, your... Okay, yes, I will. Your sex thing? Hi, everybody. Mm. Um, everybody has different fetishes, I assume. Yeah. Yes, good. And there's no judgment attached oh, to fetishes. Oh, no, no, no. So, don't judge me. Mm, okay. um, so, something that I find very erotic and very arousing um, is tax. <laughs> yes. You too, madam. Yes. It's very sadomasochistic yeah, when is. you think about it. And particularly for me, VAT, I get very wet. Okay, I think probably stop talking at that point, darling. That's okay, probably enough that's information. Enough that so, I don't know if anyone in the room is self employed. Are there any self employed people in the room? Yeah. Awesome. Okay, cool. So, so you'll know the online self assessment deadline in the United Kingdom is January 31st. Oh. Oh. And you just can't get Maurice out of her bedroom. I think with that in mind, darling, shall we? Let's do it. Hit it, Sam. Oh, Mr. Obama, why don't you check out my Eurozone? Oh, Mr. Cameron, I've been a bad girl. Won't you tax me? Ooh, tax me, baby. Ooh. Oh yeah, come on honey, show me your inland revenue. Yeah, yeah. Hey professor, I'm a naughty student on my knees. I want you to fuck me off the life with your huge tuition fees. on your politics whilst you're taking my benefits I know you love it when I shoot my load into your deficit Ooh, tax me baby Ooh, tax me baby Ooh, tax me baby Take away the job in Tax me baby Oh yeah Oh come on Maurice do that sexy tax stuff that you do I love that thing Oh yeah <laughs> 
a commander at his service, wrap up my public service. I love to look you in the eyes when you say you're gonna privatize me. So come on, push that V8 to your favorite. That iron bed give me an iron screw But they will leave me raw and red Cause there's no budget for lube Oh honey, I'm getting hot here now Come on Maurice, baby, give me that sexy tattoo Tattoo, 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 describe your show? Um, it's sort of a whirlwind journey through uh, pre-apocalypse, post-coalition Britain really, in a musical song. form through song and a bit dance but mainly song. Um, is it true that you were working in schools? Uh, yeah, we were doing a primary school tour. Um, that's kind of where we came from. We realised that there's no one has uh, a more political and dirty sense of humour than children. So just found our audience. That, you were you were doing this was doing primary school tours. We were doing yeah. Yeah. primary school tours, um, educational workshops, anything like that really. Well, we went to a couple of prisons, worked out well. This one's for the kids. So we didn't come for two years. That's true. That's true. <laughs> that's true. How much is too much? Lies, but that's true. <laughs> How much is too much? Enough to put me in hospital. <laughs> wow. That. Okay. So what are your survival tips for Edinburgh then? Probably easy on the drink. Easy on the drink, right? Excellent. Um, wear your best outfits every day. Um, for sure, if you've got any. Thanks. Uh, yeah, Try not to speak to too many people because you find that after a while. Do you know what? I've got to ask you guys, where did you meet? And I'm thinking, I'm expecting it's going to be like, oh, is that swing as possible? Brother and sister. Fuck off, your brother and sister. Yeah. Oh my god, your your show arguments must be epic. Yeah. 
I win. No, I don't. <laughs> Your brother and sister? Yeah. That's amazing. That's so cool that you do this show together. Yeah, it's nice. Well, we don't have any parents anymore, so we figured that we should just kind of bring the family closer together. And like, so we tour around. And... Yeah, I know, it's sad. I feel like a prick for asking that, but uh, never mind. Don't worry. Don't worry. We put it into our show, it's fine. Oh, it? Okay, that's cool. And what, what advice would you give to anyone, like, starting as a double act? Um, don't do it. <laughs> boring. <laughs> no, do it if you want. I don't really care. Okay. Is that good advice? <laughs> don't do it. It's really boring. Uh, I know, I know. Um, get a logo and don't tell the tax man you're doing it. Yeah, that's, that's how that's we've done. It works. Excellent. <laughs> What's the weirdest thing that's ever happened to either of you at a gig? At a gig? Oh, I know. Um, when we were doing a benefit gig, and for like rich people, I won't say where it was for because it might put people in, pr in trouble. Um, and a woman at the end of it offered to pay me for sex. Me. Were you wearing this at the time? And Jeremy Clarkson was in the audience, and we sang our hit single "Privacies for Pedos" and made him sing along. That was quite weird. Brilliant. He didn't seem too amused. Was there anything you'd like to say to um, Jeremy Clarkson now? Uh, you had a great singing voice. Thanks for thanks for singing. Oh, bonjour, Marie, she'd be awesome. Bring it in, let's have a little cover. I was upset when I saw it. I was angry. Abortion equals sign Holocaust? I was like, come on. It is a woman's right to choose whether or not she wants to give birth to six million Jews. <laughs> It's K for Kenny, B for Polly. Don't you hear what they fucking do? That's the most patronizing shit ever. What if I can't spell Kenny? Then we're fucked. <laughs> you say K for Kenny, I'm like, what are you talking about? I don't know this Because if I gave you the reference, I might fuck with you. I'd be like, you've got a pen. It's K for knowledge. Beautiful.